Well, Chris Wettler, um, I'm not sure what was necessarily accomplished here other than some very spirited, very passionate dialogue. I guess as you look back on the day, both in terms of the success multiplier not even getting to a vote, the uh, enrollment multiplier, uh, you know, having two different votes, two very different votes, and uh, the free and reduced lunch thing not, not getting off the ground. Uh, wh wh what was accomplished here today? Well, I, I think there ended up being really good, passionate dialogue, which you talked about, which I think um, is going to be good down the road. Um, you're right. There was a lot of emotional highs and lows going on uh, from lots of different uh, people, lots of different public and private. Um, and so, you know, what was accomplished? Well, I, in my opinion, you know, what was accomplished is, is, is the right thing of going on that what we have isn't so bad. Yeah, we do have a couple issues that got to be worked out. But at least you know, someone wasn't able to come in and throw together a petition and have it get passed without people really th having a chance to look at it and review it and put data behind it and then maybe support it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm glad it didn't happen that way. I'm glad the free and reduced lunch. I'm one of these guys that on the petitions, I would like everybody be offered a chance to sign the petition. Sure. Not just certain schools. Because then they, you know going in, all right, here's the petition, here's what the vote was. Maybe then you could go look up some data on it, and then you make a, a good intelligent, uh, intellectual choice on what you want to vote for it or not. So um, I, I think it, actually, I think this might have brought us a little closer. I think it brought the membership a little closer today. I was going to ask you, did, do private schools feel they dodged a bullet today, or do they feel that they got a point across, one that will help, you know, maybe uh, unify whatever decision is ultimately made, if one is made going forward? I think a little bit of both. I think that some private schools uh, very passionately expressed why this wasn't fair to go forward. I think some public schools uh, may have learned some of that kind of uh, answers they needed to hear or information they needed to hear and yeah I think yeah I'd be lying if I didn't think we dodged a bullet because um, I, I, I was seriously thinking this was going to go this was going to pass and then I'm really kind of surprised that it went from being ahead 230 to 202 and then failed 144 to 280 or right. whatever it was right. a lot of people changed their mind so you know I guess that's what passionate well thought out uh, speeches with some data behind it uh, can do for a person. Would reconvening your committee accomplish anything going forward or does a, a new committee have to tackle this issue or, or does it have to be tackled a different way? And that's a good question. No, I think a committee of I think a committee of people to come together to talk about this is a good idea. I, I think quite honestly life happens in um, with some of the potential downfalls of this committee is that their ADs, their presidents, their principals, their superintendents of their schools, mm -hmm. they've got their own families, they got their own lives, and then to be kind of sequestered and set aside like we were, um, you know, I, I think that um, that was tough on people mm -hmm. to be able to do their real jobs, have a family, have a life, and then try and put forward this. But I do think it's the right way to do it. But you got to find some people that can really commit the time to it. Sure. And I think it, I said way back that I said this should be a three-year deal. Mm -hmm. This never should have been brought forward mm -hmm. right away in one year. That's mm -hmm. not enough time. And I am hope people, that never came up today, but I am hope people could see that. It's just way too delicate and, and um, um, just there's just a lot to it. To have to try and get done in a year. Spread it out over three years, I think you could find something. Are you comfortable with area meetings being the next point at which this is discussed and not you know, trying to get people back in the room? Do you feel that this, this issue needs some time to be digested? Sure, I am, I, as long as people say something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you, you know, Six Rivers, um, at, at the last meeting in Mount Horeb, not very many people were there mm -hmm. that were were asking for some help and that the, what we were moving forward wasn't going to help them. But then they didn't show up to the area meetings. Mm -hmm. um, if people talk, like today, I felt like there was actually some good things done and mm -hmm. said because people got up and talked. So sure. I guess it's back to that whole thing and, until you get really red-faced or, in my case, a chrome dome going <laughs> that, uh, you, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you kind of sit by and say, well, it's not going to affect us. But, uh, um, yeah, area maintenance is a great place to start. The problem with them is just not enough people say anything. Sure.
Well, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thanks, Rob.